everybody. Welcome or welcome back to Crafts by KMW. I have a coloring book flip through for you. I just got this book today. I got home from work. I found it in front of my door and opened it up, but I have not looked through it yet. I thought I'm going to make a video of a flip through. So we are going to look at it together if you haven't seen this book yet. I think this is one of their new releases. I believe they have a couple others. I think um, Mythographic Aviary might be a new one. And I think maybe they have a Cosmic one that's new. Um, I am tossing back and forth getting the Aviary. I think it actually is in my Amazon cart. Hi, Finn. Um, <laughs> So I might get that one too. So there might be a flip through of that one soon. Um, I have another mythographic book. I own Winter Wild and I did a flip through of that book as well as a color along of that book. Um, and that is on my channel already. So this book has a nice um, sturdy cardboard cover and then on the back uh, it gives you a blurb about the book and then a blurb about the author the illustrator who is Joseph Kattenbang and he also illustrated the other book that I have Winter Wild. I really like his illustrations they remind me of Kirby Roseanne's whom I actually love as well so I think that's probably why I like his these books so much. So when you open it up, you get to the title page and it is exactly the same as the front cover. So you might color that in the same colors or choose your own colors. And then we get to the pages. So each of the pages has a name and you can find the names of each page in the back with the answers to the hidden objects. So I won't um, tell you all the names of the um, illustrations as we go through, but you can find them in the back. And what I usually do, I did this with Winter Wild, is I added stickers to the bottom right corner of each page that was the title. So that way, when I open it up, I can see the title of every page right away. I think I might do something different with it this time. Maybe I'll just write them in or use some different letter stickers. I'm not really sure. The ones I used in Winter Wild I thought were kind of big. So I think I want to use some smaller ones this time. So let's look at the illustrations. So this one is beautiful. It has two fish. They could be considered koi fish and then like a mermaid or just a beautiful woman um, in the center. Very whimsical, fun. All the illustrations in here are really whimsical and fun and really fantasy-like. Um, this one was one of my favorites when I was looking through um, a flip through I keyed in on this page and I thought oh yeah I think I want to buy the book because of this page so here we have a tiger and then um, I can't tell if this is supposed to be like the shore or if this is supposed to be just the water coming out, I'm not really sure, but I think you could color this both ways. Like this could be the water over here, um, or you could make the whole thing water. Um, but I really, really like this. I love tigers and all kinds of cats, as you can tell. And um, I really like coloring pages with them. So here we have a beautiful mermaid and there's um, an octopus. Actually, her hair is kind of turns into the octopus. And we have um, lots of fish and shells and other things. Really pretty. Um, I think this one will look beautiful colored. 
So here we have one. It looks like there's a temple on the back of a sea turtle, and then we have lots of fish around. Um, this would be really nice to color as well. You could make either the whole thing underwater or maybe just part of it underwater, and this part is kind of coming up out of the water. So this one looks like it's a squid or um, some type of crustacean. Um, there's flowers and lots of fish around coming out of it. Really, really pretty. It almost looks too like it's sort of breaking apart or hollow. That's kind of interesting. So here, I really like this one. This one has a young girl and she's painting on a canvas. And behind her, we have a beautiful big fish, lots of flowers and other um, sea life and sea plants. It's almost to me like her canvas is coming alive. I think that is so cool. <laughs> so here we have a puffer fish. And this is actually a pufferfish balloon. And there's lots of other balloons and lots of other fish. Kind of cool. It's like um, you could do this, that this is water or that they're in the sky. So it, it would be like they're sky fish. So I think there's a couple different ways you could go with this page. Really cool. So here we have, I don't know if I would call this a temple, but definitely a sculpture. It has sort of a Japanese flair with this part here. And we have some stingrays and a sea turtle and an eel and lots of other fish. That's really cool. Again, we have, um, this could be sky or foam for the water. So you could... Um, do that where the whole thing is underwater or maybe just this part is underwater here. A couple different ways you could color that. So here we have a beautiful fish and we have Finn once again. <laughs> um, so here we have a beautiful fish and there's actually an astronaut, um, which is really interesting. Um, we see some planets and so this could be like an underwater world with planets and um, an astronaut or it could be um, in the sky and this fish is like a sky fish. I don't know. Just there's so many things you could do with these because they're so unique. Next, we have some flying fish, and we have a young girl on the back of this one. Um, this one looks like maybe they are in the sky above the clouds, and then you have like the swirling water underneath. It could also be more sky underneath. So you could color that any way that you'd like. So here we have... Um, maybe some whales, and it looks like there is a um, young man or a boy with a tiger um, in a canoe sailing on top of these big, beautiful creatures. Um, really pretty. So here we have a young girl and um, there are some manta rays, and so I think you could take this as she's under the water or maybe that her head, that she's kind of floating on top of the water or her head is coming out of the water. Again, you could color this in, in many different ways and do different things with it. love this one. It almost has a wintry feel. So we have a reindeer here and a beautiful young girl. Um, and then there's lots of like these big circles. So that could be bubbles or even snow. 
and we have these beautifully adorned fish all around. I could see this colored with some reds and golds. Um, again, to make it kind of look Christmassy, wintry. So here we have, uh, in some of these, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. So we have lots of like manta rays in the background. We have a young girl or woman, and it's almost like she's under the water trying to reach up through the top of the water. And we have like a big fish here. This one's very unique as well. So this page, we have um, a turtle. And then there's definitely some tentacles in this one and a really big shell. And it looks like there's like a house or a castle sort of inside the shell. Um, wow, this one has a lot going on. There's shells in the bottom. Um, and it's clear that there are little houses. And there's a little submarine here. I don't know if that's one of the hidden objects or um, part of the picture. This one will really be an interesting one to color. Again, there's so much going on in it. So here we have a lovely young girl or woman and there's some fish around her. It almost looks like she's laying in the coral, like underneath the water. And this is the top of the water. Very interesting. So here we have a um, jellyfish and it looks like it is home to a fox. So maybe he's like inside living in the jellyfish in a pocket of air and there's lots of coral and things around. It's a very cool one. It kind of reminds me of one of the winter pictures where there's a, um, a little deer, a little baby fawn in a light bulb, which is one of my favorite pictures from that book. So here we have a beautiful um, mermaid. She's kind of like hacked octopus too because she has these tentacles coming out from the bottom of her. Um, and then it looks like there's these streams of water coming up. That's really pretty, very interesting. So here we have, almost looks like it's a indoor scene. So we have this um, little girl here with very long hair. It's like she's sitting in some kind of a cabin um, and then she's looking out into like the ocean. There's whales here and she's watching them. Um, and there's, this is definitely a Christmas scene um, because we have Christmas lights here. Um, one of the things I really like that Joseph does is that he makes these circles around lights and lanterns and things. So it's really easy to make your glow, which I really like. So this is an interesting one that would fit in Winter Wild as well. So here we have a lovely ballerina and she is um, in the water and there's fish and lots of um, coral and plants and things underneath her. And her dress um, is like one of those really large um, fan plants. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. I'm sure I'm misnaming them, but I think it'd be really cool to maybe do her dress in some greens. So here we have a merman um, and it looks like he's um, underwater. There's a, a squid or an op octopus over here. There's like a castle behind him. There's some um, water streams, like some um, waterfalls that are coming down as well. 
Very interesting. Here we have another beautiful young girl or lady, um, and there's tentacles and some fish. Um, there's clouds in the background. Again, that could be seen as um, foam or as sky. So you could do it either way you would like. So here's another one with, we have a lantern, um, we have some glowing fish and another um, beautiful young girl. Um, it seems to me like maybe she's swimming just because of her position, um, but it's hard to tell. So here we have a young girl um, sitting on the edge of like a forest and there's a pond here. Um, this is a really sweet scene. There's lots of fish and mushrooms and other plants in here. And I guess now is a good time to point out one of the things that I do. I am not particularly fond of hidden object books. But these, I just love the illustration so much that I kind of overlook it. And one thing I do is if any of the hidden objects don't fit in with the picture, I just cover them um, with, I go over the black outlines with white pen, like well, white gel pen or white Posca pen. And then I just color it to fill in, to fit in with whatever, um, it's around. So like here, there's a, it's either a tire or like a cushion. Now, I wouldn't want that there. So I will cover that up and then I'll color it green or whatever I color this to fit in. Um, uh, there was a previous page that had, yes, this one. So here there is a um, pot here with the word honey. Now I'll Again, I don't think that that particularly goes with the um, illustration, so I'm just going to white that out and then, um, you know, make it either a plant or a leaf or something and cover that up. So that is an idea if you are kind of like me and not so fond of the hidden pictures, but you do like the illustrations in the books. I think. All of the Mythic Braffic books are um, hidden picture books. So you might want to do that if you like them enough to purchase them. So here we have a young boy. Um, and it looks like he is definitely underwater. Here's my cat again. He's being very stubborn today. So I think I'm just going to let him stay up here. Um, so... He's looking at some maybe large fish or eels, might be even be even eels. And then it looks like there's some waterfalls coming down. Um, I guess you could do this as if like it's a, these might even be trees. So you could do it as if it's on land and there's these just weird eel monsters that are supposed to be in the water. Or you could do it as if this is a total underwater scene. So a lot you can do with this one, I think. All right, buddy, can I flip the page? <laughs> All right. Okay, this isn't going to work. Sorry, I tried. I did try, bud. All right, so... I'm almost done, okay? And then I'll give you all the attention you want. <laughs> all right, so this one is, um, we have a young girl. Um, she has something over her eyes. I don't know if that's like a ribbon or something. And she's being kind of enveloped and cradled by a lot of fish. There's some jewels in here as well. Um, very interesting composition. So here we have, so there's a young maiden. I'm not quite sure where her body is. I'm not sure if this is it. 
Um, there's some jellyfish in here, some other fish, water, obviously. I'm not exactly sure what this composition is, but it's definitely interesting. So here we have another young lady, um, maybe a Norwal um, girl, um, because she has the horn just like they do. And so they're kind of swimming around. Um, maybe she could be like a vision. That might be cool if you colored her as if she's almost transparent or not really there. That could be kind of neat. So here we have, oh, I'm not sure what kind of fish this is, um, but we have a young girl sitting on top playing a guitar, <laughs> which is very interesting. Um, so he is definitely in the water and she is on top of the water. Um, there's some turtles and lots of fish underneath. There's also a lot of music instruments underneath. Maybe she's going to fish for some. <laughs> so here we have some whales again. Um, and there, it almost looks like there's like a big tree. So almost like this tree is growing on the edge of the water. And here we have some whales and things. Again, very interesting, different composition. We have a young girl sitting in, in an umbrella and floating on the water. We have some flying fish, lots of lanterns around. I think this will look really pretty with very dark colors and then um, with the glow of the candles and the lanterns, I think will look really, really pretty. So here we have a young girl in sort of like a mechanical fish. I think this whole thing is a mechanical fish and there's lots of other things going around um, around her. There's some regular fish, lots of plants, and there's some odd things flying around too. I don't know if all of these are um, part of the hidden objects. There's like a TV up here and like a little toolbox down here. So it'll be interesting to see what is actually part of the picture and what's a hidden object. So here we have a very watery frog. Um, and this is definitely more of a forest picture, I think. There's lots of leaves and branches around. Um, I think it'd be very interesting to color the frog to see like what you might color actual frog color and what might be water. I think this will be a very cool one to color. So here we have another frog, or I guess maybe a toad. Um, we have water here, so this is like a pond. And then the background might be like a forest. Um, we have a beautiful young angel with wings um, sitting on his back, kind of relaxing. Maybe she's meditating. Um, we have some butterflies in the background. It's a very sweet composition. So here we have a young girl um, with a book and she has, um, she's sitting on some books and like some shallow water, like a pond. Um, there's lots of clouds in the background and coming out of the book are like all these flowers and fish and turtles and things as well. I guess you could even do this as an underwater picture as well. So here we have like a, um, maybe a Pegasus cause it looks like it has wings. Um, and we have a mermaid here. Um, there's lots, it looks like there's lots of ruins. Um, Maybe they are floating through and kind of running through these these um, broken down remnants of an under underwater city or something. There's lots of fish around as well. 
So this looks like a dead um, maybe snake or eel, probably an eel since it's underwater. So you can see all the bones here and just all of the things that are growing inside it, around it, um, outside it, lots of fish and plants. And I guess it kind of shows that beauty comes from even the ugliest stuff. Um, I would consider a skeleton kind of ugly and gross. So it's kind of neat to see all these, all this life coming out of that. So here we have another whale. We have a young girl. Looks like she's holding like a bubble or a ball of some kind. It could be even a ball of light. Um, again, I think this could be an underwater scene or partially not an underwater scene, depending on how you make it. It's almost like she's on top of this ladder and like the things that are going on around her are like imaginary coming from her head. <laughs> There's a lot you could do with this. Ooh, this one's pretty. Really like this one. Um, so here we have kind of like a koi fish girl. She has the black markings of a koi fish and then her hair seems to be made up of all of these fish. Um, she's coming out of the water, so we have some shallow water here. Um, I will definitely take the scissors out of this picture. Um, <laughs> but that's a really pretty one. Here we have another sweet composition. So we have this lovely girl and this beautiful, like maybe Chinese or Japanese robes. Um, and then we have fish around her. Um, we have her shadow um, or her reflection, excuse me, uh, on the other side of the water. So that's kind of neat. I never feel like I get reflections really good. They always seem to be almost as dark um, as the original. So this will be a nice one to color to practice doing a reflection. So here we have a woman and she is half sort of industrial and made up of lots of different cogs and things. And then we have the other side of her is normal. And then we just have a lot of fish and um, ocean plants and coral and things around her. Reminds me of some Kirby illustrations that he has in a few of his books. So here we have a fishbowl. <laughs> so we have some fish in the fishbowl. And then the fishbowl is in the water. There's a snail here. Um, some starfish around. That's a really neat um, thing. Kind of reminds me of the end of um, Finding Nemo, where they all end up in their little bags in the water in the ocean, just kind of floating there, not knowing what to do. <laughs> so here we have some more fish. Um, there's some crystals coming out of them. Kind of reminds me of a mandala almost. That's a really cool picture. Here we have a beautiful um, lady or girl, and she has a um, jellyfish as a hat, and there's lots of other jellyfish around her, so maybe she's like the queen of the jellyfish. Really pretty. You could see that in soft colors. Um, here we have a young girl. There's a cat here as well. Looks like this is taking place in a forest and then there's like water here and there's this wild, like sort of sea monster that's sort of part sea and there's like some flowers and branches coming from it too. Very fantasy-like, really whimsical. It'd be fun to try to color the monster or think about how you want to color it, whether it's like more 
worldly or more from the water. So here we have um, a beautiful young maiden. There's some fish and she's being surrounded by, I don't know, maybe a, actually I think this is the head of it. So we have here like a, a windy eel um, and they're like kind of coming out of the water. It's kind of neat. Oh, so here we have a little girl sleeping on some, maybe like the petals of a flower. Um, and they seem to be floating on top of water and underneath are all of these fish, um, like koi fish. There's some other um, plants and things around her. Oh, I like that. That's really sweet. So here we have a young girl, and it looks like she's in a skull. Um, and then she's, like the skull is floating or sitting on top of something, on top of the water. And then underneath we have some more flowers and fish um, and different things. Up on top there's butterflies. So this could be taking place like in a forest. That's very creative. I love the thing that she's kind of like in this skull. That's really neat. So here we have a beautiful lady. Um, just kind of holding up her hands, like maybe in rejoicing or maybe she's meditating. Um, and there's lots of stuff going around her. So maybe she's conjuring up these things, these fish, and um, looks like this is part of a star here. So maybe she's like praying or doing this incantation where she's um, bringing these things to life. So it'd be cool to kind of make everything around her look sort of dreamlike and maybe a little transparent. And that is the last one. And then we have the answers to the hidden objects. And then at the back, the last page, um, there's a few um, pictures of a few other mythographic books illustrated by um, Joseph, mythographic animals and mythographic imagine. And that is the book. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Um, I'm really excited to color, um, start coloring in this book. If you would like me to do a color along for any of the pages in this book, please jot that down in the comments. I would love to um, see your thoughts and um, get some ideas for what I should color first and if I should put that on video. So I would love to see your thoughts on that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel to um, help me out and help my channel continue to grow. Really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Instagram and join my private Facebook group for crafting, coloring, and journaling. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a very crafty and colorful day.